Um, right. Obviously, we're assuming the Flamingo Club. Mm-hmm. Um, can, can you remember exactly when he stopped doing the Flamingo? A year. Well, the Flamingo died, died all of a sudden. Yeah. For a start, it started getting a reputation for being a bit froggy. And it was well, a black club, basically. Was it basically a black yeah. was, it, was it mainly made up of more more it, it was mainly made up of uh, West Indian guys yeah. and their birds. Right. And there was a smattering of people who liked mod jazz, the kids who liked that mod jazz, or the Georgie Baines. Because Georgie was a regular. Yeah. He was, because Rick Gunnell and Johnny Gunnell had to run the club, and yeah. they were managing those two. Uh, it was basically them and modern jazz. It was basically uh, Tommy Whittle, Jimmy Skidmore, Tony Kinsey Trio, um, Tony Crombie, who eventually joined Georgie's band anyway. Yeah. And all these kinds of people. It was basically a jazz club, and the people that were digging jazz most of them were the, the ethnic groups. Yeah. I mean, the, the guys that were not, not, not the Brixton, the Brixton wasn't that famous, then, but the the, 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 the Ladbroke Go- Grove mob and the Bayswater mob used to go down. And, and it was predominantly a black club. And Chris and them were doing it all the time because they were managed by them. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the people that liked them, I mean, Georgie was, wasn't even wasn't doing half the sort of stuff that, that he was doing on record. He was doing all things like Route 66 and uh, uh, Let the Good Times Roll and all those kinds of stuff, which Chris used to do in his jazz as well. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. And they basically did that kind of stuff. They were kind of basically jazzing. Yeah, know, yeah. But it was nothing to do with their pockets. Do you know of anyone that was hanging around the Flamingo Club that might have taped? Uh, some material there that you've done. Yeah, tape, tape records in them days were like that with a few Yeah, yeah. the only person I know really is uh, Jimmy Page. Oh, Page is actually, yeah. 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 yeah, Jimmy Page used to take machines down. Yeah. So. Also, what's his name might have done? He's dead anyway. Alex Alexis. Oh, uh, yeah. He yeah. might have done yeah. that. Yeah. But, so, I mean, yeah. tape recorders with them. You did it with Drum gigs everywhere. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So, I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah. I'm, they used to do a lot of live, they used to do broadcasts from there sometimes. Yeah. And they used to do a lot of recording down there. Would that be BBC? So, Georgie did live albums there. Yeah, I know, I know one live album. Yeah. Uh, at the Flamingo, obviously. Yeah, but, uh, yeah live at the Flamingo was about what it was called. Yeah. So yeah. apart from that, I wouldn't have thought they'd have done that much. Uh, because, I mean, I should have thought today, if there were things like this, everybody oh, would have well, done yeah. it. Yeah, so compact, it's easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm sort of looking for a, a record photographic one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. I think anyone took photos of it. Um, well, it, it must have been. It was always, it was always mentioned as a fake. I mean, it was like the, the blue eyed boy, the early melody maker. Yeah. Well, it, it was completely jazz. Yeah. Mm. It was either modern jazz or traditional jazz. In fact, it was split in two hours. Can you see next week? Don't work so hard this week. No, no, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm in the studio, actually. I start the album on Tuesday. Right. Come and sit over here. Do you know any of the Thunderbirds? It's fucking great. Uh, no. Do you have any association no. with them? I probably do. I, probably, I, wouldn't, re- I wouldn't remember. I no. probably do. I mean, I have, I have okay. been in the living room for 18 years. So, oh. I can't even remember the people in Laurie J's band. He was talking about them. You wouldn't leave it too long. Right. I can remember what they look like, but I tell you, they walked through that door, I wouldn't know their names. No, names. Yeah. Laurie, I know, but he's an agent. Yeah, yeah. I'm just sort of interested in contacting people that uh, obviously yeah. work with him. I like to contact all the Thunderbird members. But uh, they so probably, far up They're probably on the picket lines now, this guy. Probably, yeah. Any yeah. miners or something? Yeah, well, one, one, one lives in Wales, so no doubt he is. Yeah. So, did, did you have anything? I've got one here, actually. Did you have anything to do with his media recording days? Yeah. Yeah. Only from the point that I recorded the, I used to produce the faces and, and, and when Andrew Holden took over a media, we yeah. bought out a couple of albums yeah. of, of the Stones. Well, there was there was the Stones, Chris, all faces. So they put out a compilation album, but I mean that was only because I helped them to put a compilation album together. And, they, and the only reason I've done that was because when I produced the faces, they never used to 
put down who produced records in them. No. And that was the, when they first started. Yeah. And I wanted to make sure that Andrew put my name down as a producer. So you are credited on one of those compilations? On the compilation now for Chris. Is, on, which yeah. one is that? Is it Immediate Let's You In? It's a double album. Oh no. It's got a lot of Stones tracks on it. Yeah. It's got a lot of the stuff that I produce, like You Better Believe It and Tell a Lonely and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, who else is on it? Chris is on it. I don't out of time is definitely on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't on it. There, there must be a lot of, because there's, there's two albums. Yeah. And it's got a double cover, you have to, like a book cover. And it's got all like pieces of newspaper on the front and, and pictures oh. of the Vietnamese war. I haven't actually seen it, no. But I don't know which one that is. is it, and it, it was when they immediately went over to the Warner Brothers office in Martin Street. Yeah. They were upstairs. The Warner yeah. Brothers in Atlanta. Of course, Immediate Records now went over, or rather was bought by Virgin. Really? Records, yeah. Uh, immediate, most of the stuff. In fact, Immediate were the first ones to do Yeah. As far as I, I know. But like everything else, Andrew fucked that up as well. Yeah. It'd be interesting actually to find out where he is these days. I know where he is. You do? In Connecticut. Oh well, it's a bit too far ago. Yeah. Confusing a little bit for Motown. Yeah. It'd be interesting really, you know, I think he's talking about I saw him. him over there. Well, I haven't seen him for six years. I saw him six years ago. He had a nice house in Connecticut. Yeah. Well, I saw him... <laughs> Oh, I got arrested in America for speeding. Oh, yeah, yeah. In Connecticut. Yeah. And uh, 